Surviving a genocide is a miracle. But this was real for Apolene and Isenga of Rwanda, who survived the 1994 Rwanda genocide, which left some 800 minority Tutsis and moderate Hutus killed. His life has never been the same since then. Well, the experience of uh, refugee life, life is uh, a very, very challenging one. Because, first of all, you are that person who has no hope. To me, when I arrived here in Zambia, I managed to complete my school here, and then I was also offered a job in the government, and I am still working for government. Ndaisenga urges Zambians to treasure the peace the country is enjoying. Zambia, you are blessed. And uh, starting for this forthcoming election, the first message I can give to Zambian people and specifically Zambian politician, please continue maintaining your peace. Some of us will remember what we passed through, not because from the beginning of our independence we thought that sometimes we are going to, to have a war, but because of how we were leading our political arena. Many people have become refugees in various parts of the world due to different situations such as famine and political instability. An estimated 43 million people are currently living as refugees worldwide, more than three times the population of Zambia. The advice from this man is indeed timely to the peace-loving members of this country, especially as we go to the polls.